Hello, Phase 5. I hope you're all doing okay. Ready for another Phase 5 phonics. Uh, again, what you will need, like usual, if you don't already have one, is a pencil and a piece of paper. If you don't need one to write, that's perfectly fine. Don't worry. But what's going to come up on our screen any second is going to be our ABC alphabet. And what I need you to do is pause the video as soon as it comes up and sing along. Use your best singing voice you can. Show everyone at home, even your neighbours, how good your singing voice is, okay? And then once you finish singing, pause the video and we can carry on with our lesson. Beautiful singing as usual, face five, much better than Mr. Bennett's singing voice because that's not that good to be honest, like you know. So what we're going to do like usual, this is our phoneme map, face five phoneme map. How many different phonemes do we say are on here? I'm going to give you five seconds to think. Okay, can you shout out how many phonemes you think are on this mat? Fantastic. If you said 22 phonemes, thumbs up to you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Fantastic work. Really good. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hold up a card like usual. And when you see the card, remember, there are different uh, phonemes that we've covered that are on our phoneme mat. Okay. So when I do this, it's my turn. When I do this, it's your turn. Okay. So first one. Oi, oi, our oi is an o and a y, so oi, fantastic, next one, so this one is an i and a r, which makes a, uh. so a, uh. a, uh. girl, beautiful word. Next one, we have a a and a y, but that makes a a sound. Can you say a? So a, a, crayon, beautiful. Next one, ooh, we have a o and a o, that makes a ow, ow. Cloud, cloud, amazing. Next one. So we have a e and a y. That makes a e sound for monkey. So can you say e, e, monkey? So e, fantastic. Next one. Ooh, we have a I and a E, which makes a I sound. So, I, I, tie. Fantastic. Ooh, next one. A E and a A make a E sound. So, E, E, bead. Beautiful. Ooh, next one. We did this one yesterday. It is a O and a E, which makes a OO sound for glue stick. So, OO, OO, glue, OO. Beautiful. Hold on. We have a O and a E. Look at this. An O and a E as well. So this makes a oo sound, but it can also make a u sound. Okay, so this is people in a queue. We don't say, when I go to the shop, I stand in a big coo. That doesn't make sense. We stand in a queue. So can you say you for me? Ready? You. You. Queue. 
fantastic face five. We're doing amazing as usual face five. So on my whiteboard, I have written down our phone for today. Okay. And it is our you sound. So can you say you to the ceiling? You to the floor. You to the window. And you to the door. Oh, my door's there. So you. And let's whisper into our hands as quiet as our mouse. Can we say our you um, phoneme? Beautiful. Really good. And we know that when two letters make one sound, that is a digraph. Okay? Really good. What's going to happen now? I'm going to hold up a few different cards. On these cards are words with our U in them. Okay? Our U phoneme. So, remember... Our digraph, our phoneme, is underlined. So our U will be underlined. And we will have our sound buttons underneath that can help with our phoneme fingers if we need them, okay? So I want to know if you can read this word. So you have a think. If you need to pause the video, that's fine. At any point, take your time. What does this word say, phase five? If you said... Q, amazing. Give yourself a pat on the back. But that's not a Q like at the shop. That's a pool Q that you play pool with. So let's sound it out. So we can see there's two sound buttons. So K, U, K, U, Q. Amazing. Next one. What does this word say? Oh, can you see that? There you go. What does this word say, face five? If you said "dew," amazing, give yourself another big pat on the back. That is "dew." So let's sound it out. We can see there are two sound buttons: "d," "u," "dew," "d," "u," "dew." Amazing. Can you tell me what it was? Fantastic. Oh, next one getting a bit trickier. What do you think that word says? If you said value, pat on the back, amazing. Let's sound it out. V, a, o, u, v. Oh, my fingers, then you should be here. V, a, o, u, v, a, o, u. So if you need to break it up and take your time with this one, that's fine. But remember, this is our U sound, our U phoneme, sorry. So V, A, O, U, value. Amazing. Next one. I'm sure you can get this one by now. What does that word say? If you said venue, pat on the back, amazing. V, E, N, U, Venue. So V, E, N, U, Venue. Oh, last one. Can you tell me what that one says? Be very impressed if you can. If you said pursue, pat on the back. And the other side. Amazing. Look at it. So, p, uh, s, u, p, uh, s, u, pursue. Amazing. They do get a bit tricky, but remember, it is our u phoneme, okay? Not u, it is u for today. Doing fantastic again as usual, phase five. So what your task is at the end of this lesson, there will be a sheet attached to the same post on our blog as this video, okay? What you need to do, there are eight different words at the top of the page and every single word contains our you phoneme. Can you say you for me one more time? Amazing. So it includes our you phoneme. 
What you need to do is match the pictures at the bottom of the page to the correct word. So, do we know what a word says without reading it? No, we don't. We have to read it, okay? Take your time. Read carefully, phase five, like we always do in school. Once you match the pictures up, okay, I would love you to take a picture and post it on our class blog. If you need some help posting it, um, ask me, Mrs. Stannard, or Miss Gadsby, and we'll give you some advice on how to post it, okay, if you're still struggling a bit. But um, before you do that, any second now, something will pop up on our screen. It will be two sentences. One is red and one is blue. You need to read them to your dog or your cat or your hamster. If you've got a pet pigeon, if you've got a pet spider, if not, you can always say it to your favourite toy or someone at home, anyone. But if you really can't and you need to read to yourself, don't worry, that's perfectly fine, okay? As long as you're reading, take your time, okay? And then uh, let me know how you get on. And if you do struggle or need some extra motivation, just let me know and I'll give you some help. But thank you, Phase 5. Have a really good day. Thank you for working hard once again, okay?